So, we're going to Europe today, um, which is why I'm kind of slouching here because um, I have this app that's telling me when to not have a lot of light and when to put shades on um, and not have caffeine. So then when I arrive in Europe, I wouldn't be as jet lag coming from the Philippines. Um, so that's why we're, we're kind of crouching where the last of my light is. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog of me going to Europe for the very, 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 very first time. Um, I'll be using the um, DJI Osmo. So it's the first time I'm using this camera ever. Um, so if I have weird stuff that's going on, but yeah. Um, so these are my friend's plans. She's traveling with me um, and we're basically grouping our plants together so my fiance could like water them when he's here basically while i'm gone um and uh yeah basically come to europe with me immigration we're now waiting at my favorite coffee shop to usually go to when I'm traveling internationally um, so so we're flying to from Cebu to Dubai and then from Dubai to Milan basically tomorrow afternoon here uh, it, the time zones are confusing but they're fun to figure out but again it's my first time out of Asia um, and I have dreamt honestly of being able to go to Europe for the longest time uh, and I'm so lucky and so happy that I was able to uh, grab a spot as a speaker in an event basically it's basically why we're going in the first place so I'm excited to bring you guys along I'm excited to get for you guys to see more of our bloopers or um, other things that happen along the way um, so our flight so right now it is 2 p.m. our flight uh, 3 our flight is at 5 50 to Dubai and then we're arriving there 5 a.m. Uh, pH time so that'll be 11 hours 11 12 hours of a flight but then it'll be 1 a.m. in Dubai um, and then we're leaving again from Dubai uh, 9 o'clock Dubai time which is 1 p.m. our time so time zones all that funny stuff um, but uh, yeah I'm just super happy and excited to bring you guys along so at the boarding gate uh, yeah, at the boarding gate, um, our flight should be boarding in about 20 minutes, so... Is that a vlog? Anyway, yes, it's a vlog. <laughs> it's a vlog. <laughs> so, on the plane, uh, basically, I don't see because that's what I prefer even when flying. Um, so we're going to Cebu, Clark, and then Clark to Dubai, and then Dubai to Milan. So, um, yeah, first time on Emirates flight, so um, it should be fun. We're on the flight to Milan now. Um, had a really good sleep uh, at the Dubai hotel that we were put on. So excited for the next. I think we were flying for six hours um, to Milan. Um, and the funny thing is, uh, the final destination for this plane is New York, which is my dream destination. So part of me is like, do I stay? Do I go? <laughs> so um, yeah, enjoy this leg of the vlog. <laughs> so 
number in Milan. Um, so this is already technically day two of being in Milan because yesterday when we got back from the um, airport, basically checked in. Um, we were just kind of running around and a little bit exhausted um, from the day because we basically just changed time zones again. Um, so right now it is 6.58 a.m. My first meeting of the day, basically. Um, and uh, and yeah, we're basically just doing meetings until 11 and then we're gonna go and run around Milan for a little bit uh, for the whole rest of the day, basically. Um, so that should be fun and uh, we're gonna enjoy as much as the Milan air as we can. Um, Italy has always been one of my dream destinations to go to, so I'm really happy to finally be here. So, um, and look at that. Because we're near the airport. Ugh. So we're in Europe, we've been in Europe for three weeks now. Um, so I was um, about to start editing basically this vlog, which and then I was like, oh, I actually don't do a lot of voiceover <laughs> anymore or introduction to where we're at in the other video. So I wanted to jump in as I'm editing this video right now, basically walking you guys through what happened in the last couple of weeks since I got to Europe. So. As I said, it's my first time in Europe. I finally got my visa. I sadly didn't get a visa last year when I was also invited as a speaker basically for Ben's Knowledge Fest um, because at that point I was directly applying for Bulgaria and this time since Bulgaria just joined Shenzhen, I was able to apply through Italy, was able to stay there for a few days before coming here to Bulgaria to Ben's Go itself. So, basically in the first week uh, in the first week and a half of being in Italy I basically just went out honestly just on the one day to Milan the rest of the days I did end up just working um, at my hotel room as you know business owners usually do and um, basically when we did go ahead and uh, go to Milan for that one day that we were there I was enjoying all the food all the sights we went through all of basically uh, the main places that you can go through when you're in Milan. And then we went into a smaller town in Italy. Um, and then afterwards when we flew to Sofia basically to where Bulgaria's main airport was, we then drove up to Bengsko and it was such, or it still is, I'm still in Bengsko right now as so I'm recording this, it's such a beautiful place and I've met so many amazing people while I've been here. Um, and basically even leading up a few days before Banks to Nomad Fest, I even had the coolest opportunity of being able to go to Greece for a day. And basically, uh, I was able to go ahead and actually it was a two-hour trip from Mexico going all the way to Kavala and Kavala was beautiful it was on uh, I went to the beach I saw the sights I saw everything that I could I tried a Greek salad in Greece because why wouldn't you try a Greek salad in Greece um, and uh, yeah it's just, just been I that was a kind of a fantastic and I will forever remember that trip um, and then going into Bangtio Nomad Fest um, basically it, it was kind of one of the main reasons we wanted to go here it was kind of a you know um, I call myself a strategic um, traveling speaker where I travel to speak um, I was hoping to become a speaker in Italy Sally just didn't work out the timing of it um, of it all but Basically, in Banks go when we arrived, got into our Airbnb, we were able to go around. It's such a beautiful mountain town. Okay, so it's day two in Banks go. We're having our lovely coffee at the Snug. Um, and this is going to come out random because I'm using a different camera today. So I guess we'll enjoy the jump in, <laughs> in quality, I guess. Um, about to meet up with a friend um, and uh, yeah. You'll see her in five, four, three, jump cut. Vlog. So okay. this is our friend Shola. Mm -hmm. Came all the way because out. here because of her. <laughs> Hold on, let me do that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Look, I just coffee. gave you the layup, and you. And yeah. You... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then once Banks and Nomad Fest started, um, I met so many amazing people since then as well. I went ahead and pitched on a conference together with my two co-founders basically any conference is you know within the the whole event if you want to do your own talk you do an, you do what you do 
you do basically want to have your own speech. Um, you basically can do a workshop later on, and that's basically what the three of us pitched. Um, Tom uh, pitched on basically how to scale your business. Garrick pitched on how to use AI for cold outreach, and I pitched on, of course, on how to, to hire your very first virtual assistant. Um, and then basically as the weeks went through, or the days went through, I mean, um, I met a lot of really good speakers. So I watched a lot of their talks. I enjoyed a lot of it. Um, and then when it came to my talk, I was so surprised and so happy that there were so many people who watched Little Me talk basically on stage. The house was packed. I'm going to show you guys a little picture here of basically how packed it was. And essentially, I've kind of just gone to the point where I was just like, this, I'm so lucky and I'm so blessed and I'm so honored to have been able to go on this trip on the first, in the first place, basically. I kind of hit, uh, I think I hit four countries while I'm here. Like, we hit Dubai for a little bit, we were there for a little bit. So, um, we, of course, we got to Italy, um, and then we got here to Bulgaria and Greece, and we're currently, right now, as I'm editing this, um, we're packing for Turkey, Istanbul, which is crazy to me. It wasn't even on my radar to go on to Istanbul. And I hope that, um, if anything, it kind of, he gives you guys a little bit of, of a thought of I when I started this journey of working online when I started this journey of being paid for the very first time at 15 years old on how to I'm basically being writer for someone's blog um, that I would get here like I have gone through so much in the last 13 years since then of course um, I've grown businesses I've started my own business I have well, published my books. I'm hopefully about to publish another one as well. Um, I've traveled everywhere else and now I'm in Europe being able to live this life that I've had and I keep flashing, having flashbacks basically of 15 year old me who didn't know what this was to 18 year old me who took the risk and bet on herself and flew to another city basically um, at 18 years old, traumatized, wanting to like, hey, I want to have this remote life. Um, and I lived in a shoebox apartment, um, almost as small as the bathroom that we have here. Um, and I keep thinking back to, I just, I just took a bet on myself. That was kind of the, a lot of, a lot of the time when I'm doing interviews and podcast interviews, of course I go back to my previous eras of my life of 15 year old Leanne when she started, 18 year old Leanne when she took the bet and basically moved to another part of the country. I keep thinking about 22-year-old um, Leanne who was running a publishing company at that time and wanted more and wanted to start her own business. And I'm so grateful for her because at that point in my life, and a lot of people didn't know this, I was so depressed. Um, and I remember being in such that depressive state in my life that I didn't take pictures, I didn't make videos, I didn't make any memories because why would you when you're in that state of life? Um, and now I'm here, I'm 28. I have two businesses that I love. One is 2XU and one is the AI uh, agency that we're currently building. Um, I have this YouTube channel with all of you guys and I'm so honored and amazed that you guys watch my videos every single week. I hope you guys are en enjoy these kind of videos that I do where I'm kind of just vlogging and talking to you guys like this. I might do this for the rest of July, I'm not sure. I might vlog, you know, the next video that'll come out is probably my trip to Turkey. Um, it'll be a shorter one than this one. This is more of a compilation of the last three weeks. Um, I might do a vlog on going home, something like, I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. July might be a little bit of an experimental month um, when it comes to my Sunday videos at least. Um, and I'm so grateful that I get to have this life. I'm so lucky and I'm so honored um, that every symbol, everything that I've gone through in my life, I've you know, brought me here. And I didn't want to, I didn't mean to be sentimental on this part of the video. I just wanted to walk you guys through what happened basically on this trip to Europe. Um, and uh, yeah, I as always, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Comment below what your favorite parts were. Um, if you still haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any videos every Sunday and Thursdays on how to work from home and the Scale You podcast usually every Tuesday. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. And remember that small steps matters because that's how I got here.